how to make an iron farm in Minecraft Bedrock. This build can get you about 7 stacks of iron every hour. This is everything you will need for this build. 9 stacks of building blocks, 2 chests, 9 hoppers, 9 soul campfires or regular campfires both work, 9 signs, a lava bucket, 3 stone slabs or stairs, 2 stacks of leaves, 2 buckets of water, 20 beds, and 20 cauldrons. To begin, make sure you're at least 64 blocks away from any other iron farm village, bell, bed, or workstation. Now that you're at least 64 blocks away from any of the listed items, place 10 blocks like this, a double chest right here, place two hoppers funneling into your chest, and place the other seven funneling into these two. Build up one more block on these three sides, fill in these two corner blocks, and place three slabs like this. Come back up here and place your regular or soul campfires on your nine hoppers. After you place your campfires, grab your nine signs, and crouch place your nine signs on top of your campfires. After you place your signs, build up four blocks. Your kill chamber should be six blocks tall. After you build up four blocks, grab your lava bucket, crouch over the edge, and find the middle sign. Place your lava on the middle sign, and it should flow out like this. Now that you've placed your lava, our kill chamber is complete. Now that you've finished your kill chamber, build out seven blocks. It should be eight blocks total. Do this on all four sides. Connect the arms and fill it in. Now that you've finished this platform, come to the corner and place a block in each of the four corners. Now, grab your leaves, any leaves work, build out one block, and connect the corners like this. Once you're finished, it should look like this. After you finish your leaves, grab some temporary blocks, make a little pool, and place both of your water buckets inside it. Now you have an infinite water source, so we can fill in the water. Place a bucket of water on all four corners, and then come to the corner, right beside this flowing block. Make sure you don't place a bucket right here, or this will all fill in with water and you'll break your kill chamber. After you place a bucket of water here, go all the way down until you reach this block on the opposite corner. The last piece of water you should place should flow like this and like this. So just place a water right here. Do this on all four sides. Once you've finished, it should look like this. Now that you've placed all your water, you can destroy your infinite water source. Now for the next part, if you want to make it safer, you can cover your kill chamber. Find the corner of your kill chamber, place a block, and build up three more blocks, just like this. From this block, make a 2x2 two two square like this, and build out two blocks in all four directions, then fill in the corners. Now, pick a side does not matter. Place two more blocks like this, and two more on the opposite side. Now that this platform's finished, Grab your 20 beds and place them down like this. After you place your beds, grab your leaves, come to this corner right here, and place a leaf like this. You'll need to make a dirt staircase to get on top of your leaf, as well as put villagers in the holding area. Get on top of your leaf, build over to the other corner, and repeat this on all four sides. Fill in the floor, place a temporary block on the four corners of your leaf platform, grab your 20 workstations, crouch off the side, and place two like this on all four corners, just like this. Crouch down, face your other work block, and you're able to build in between the two work blocks. Now that you've placed your 20 work blocks, grab your leaves, crouch again, and place it on top of your work block. Do this for all 20 of them. After you place your leaves on your 20 work blocks, you can break these temporary blocks. Now that you've broken your temporary blocks, build a staircase up to your platform, and by whatever means you see necessary, get 20 villagers. Make sure none of the villagers are a village idiot like this guy, because they will not work. Also ensure they are not children, as children cannot work. The easiest way to get 20 villagers is to breed two villagers instead of finding 20 villagers and taking them up the staircase. Now that you have 20 villagers, destroy the platform underneath your beds, and if you failed in your kill chamber, make sure you open that up as well. Break your infinite water source, and finally, break your staircase. If you like this build, or want to see me build something else, leave a comment below, and while you're down there, don't forget to like and subscribe.